welcome to Insight Gospel. We're glad to have you being back with us today. Today, I have such a wonderful young lady that I've met by the name of Sister Callie Roger Jones. And she's written two of the most wonderful children's books that I've ever read, that I have completely fallen in love with. And being a child care provider, I love children books. We don't have enough diverse books in our child care because every child needs to see someone that looks like them. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Miss Kelly. Thank How you. are you today? I'm good in yourself. I'm mm -hmm. wonderful. Okay. I'm glad to have you here with me today. Thank you. To talk about your two wonderful books. Now, Sweet Potato Pie. Everybody loves Sweet Potato yes. Pie. Mm -hmm. It took me back to my grandmother when she would bake those sweet potato pies that only she could bake. Yeah. I've been trying to mimic that for years <laughs> and I cannot get my sweet potato pies to taste like hers. Mm -hmm. But just to go back and think about that and how she would roll that dough out and make her own crust. Mm -hmm. Miss Callie, tell me a little bit about what motivated you to write the book and how you got started. Well, I, I love baking pies. Yes. And as well as other sweets, goods. My uh, grandson came in, he's 19 now. The book was written um, for back in the years when he was younger, about four years old. He, he came in and um, asked for some pie. And, it, and my mind went back on when he was four years old. His, his, he came in and said, Grandma, do you have any pie? Yes. And I said, well, not now, today, Michael. I said, your birth is next month. I'll bake you some day. And he just still said, but I want some pie. Oh. He started crying. So I said, well, okay, go with your daddy. When you come back, I have some pies baked. Yes. So that's what I did. I baked him some pies. And, and today he comes to my house. He'll say, 19 years old, he'll say, Grandma, do you have any pie? So, oh, my. Yeah. You're a wonderful grandma to have <laughs> done that. And I'm sure he's thinking, but Grandma, I don't want to wait till my <laughs> birthday. I want your pies yes. now. Mm -hmm. Yes, and to, to be that aged and to have a grandmother like you really means a lot to a child. Now, tell me something about yourself and how you, you got started. And I know you said your grandchildren were your best motivator, mm -hmm. but talk about them a, a little and, and how you got started. Um, I started writing. Yes. At at when I was a young young girl yes. in in elementary school, I my uh, sister would ask me to write love letters for her her oh friend my. for a boyfriend. I would write letters and I would write songs okay. and I, would, I even wrote a play for one of my one of my friends. Wonderful. And I never saw it again, but I wrote it for him. And as I grew up, I started uh, writing songs to sing. I started writing songs and. You know, I make little books for myself, little homemade handbooks oh my. for myself. And from there, I just, my, and my motivation was my mama. Yes. She would help me to read every day, Wonderful. every day. Wonderful. And I just saw myself um, being in the place that those books were, yes. the people were. And I just, just fell, and fell in love with writing. That's mm -hmm. wonderful because books will take us to places that we may never get to go yes, it will. In, in the physical sense. Yes. And, and, and that is so awesome. Now, writing those plays and, and, and writing those books and those songs, mm -hmm. you didn't even realize that you were birthing no. the gift. Mm -hmm. There was just such a wonderful gift in you just waiting to be birthed. And I, I bet you thought, oh, I'm just doing this just yes, to have some fun. Joy, yeah. Never dream, did you ever dream that you would see your name mm -hmm on books. No, I didn't. Did you, did you ever think about that? Never could that? imagine it. Mm -hmm. That first book, when it was published, tell me about how you felt when you saw that first book published. I didn't think I was alive. It, it, I can understand. It, felt, it was so unreal. It was wow. so unreal. I couldn't stop smiling. I, I just held it close to me for a long time oh like my. it was a baby because I was so excited. And just think, think about me. It was yes. me because yes. I was told I'd never mount to anything. Wow. So that, was, that made me feel good. Mm -hmm. Isn't it wonderful that people's words do not dictate That's our right. destiny? That's right. And to be able to birth that, Sister Callie, that was your baby. I'm grateful. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're grateful. Mm -hmm. the, the gifts that are in us, mm -hmm. people 
don't even realize who we are. That's right. And who they're speaking That's to. That's right. And no doubt you probably were ridiculed. Girl, every time I see you, you're writing, you're singing. <laughs> Did you ever get treated like that to the point that you wanted to give up and put your pen down? It made me feel that way at one point when I was told that it was no use to me doing this. Wow. That it was going to aggravate people. So, but I was encouraged by it. And I hope I'm not getting in trouble by Lita Ward. She's okay. my director at Mount Olive College. Okay. She told me I was mandated. All so right. I took that and ran with it. Praise mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Praise God for her seeing mm -hmm. that in you yeah. and not allowing you to give up on that. Yes. Now, there were some other siblings in the book. Tell mm -hmm. me about those siblings. Well, Michael's two brothers, they're twins, okay. Montrell and Dontrell, and his older sister, Dawn uh, Jones. Yes. Um, Crandall, she's Don Jones Crandall. She's okay. married now. They're, they're, she's his older sister, so okay. they were all saying, I want some too after hearing oh, Michael say. Mm -hmm. Sweet potato pie. Mm -hmm. My mouth started to okay. water, <laughs> and I said, well, I was promised the sweet potato yes. pie mm -hmm. when I get to see you and today. And you have it. I bought Amen. it with me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm not going to share with my uh, producer. You don't have to because I bought them some too. Well, all okay. right. That, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wow. To see your name on something as wonderful um, as you. this, this book. Thank and you. Michael not wanting to wait <laughs> to his birthday because he didn't. I'm sure he could taste Grandma Callie's pies. Yes. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, tell me about, tell me some more about the book. Um, the book is is it talks about when when I. Uh, how I love to bake okay. and, and how I love to give. I don't just bake for myself okay. and my family. If I'm sometimes, if I'm in the streets just driving around, I will stop and somebody say, oh, you got pies in, the, in oh your car. I just hand them one. And Amen. they say, well, how much? I said, nothing. nothing. Take it. It's yours. To God be the mm -hmm. glory. There's a ministry in cooking. Yeah. There you have it. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with Miss Callie Jones. Sweet potato pie. While standing cleaning the stove, Mrs. Jones heard a knock at the back door. Who is it, she asked. It was her son, Michael. She wondered why he was knocking. Well, of course, the door was locked. As she opened the door, her grandchildren came in the house. She was happy to see her grandchildren. Hey, Mama said Michael Sr. Michael Jr. stood by his dad while his siblings, Shanae, Montreal, and Dontrell ran upstairs. Junior said, Grandma, you got any pie? <laughs> Mrs. Jones said, No, baby. I don't have any pie today. Well, little Mike, she said, your birthday will be here soon. And so I'll bake some sweet potato pies then. With tears dripping from his eyes, he began to say, but I want some pie. That was enough to break your heart right there. Mm -hmm. And you just could not I wait. Resist it. You had to bake those pies. Yes, I did. Something about a, grand, a grandchild's tears, yes, isn't it, Miss yes, Kelly? Yes, it is. You said to him, okay, go with your dad. And when you get back, I'll have some pies baked, mm -hmm. Mrs. Jones replied. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Tell me some more about the book, that uh, the sweet potato pie, that you would like to share, that I might leave out, that you think that you would like to um, convey to the audience. Um, it, it, it's, it's more, to me, it's more about giving. Yes. Giving and, and sharing, and because I will often go out and share the pies. Yes. and call people, even non-friends, say, yes. I have, and, and some will hear about the pies. Uh, they will say, they will call my house, I heard you have some pie. All right. And they'll come over and get a pie. And, and it's about sharing and giving yes, and loving. Is. That's what I'm, I more want to convey over 
to every to the world mainly. Yes. That is nice. To, it's loving, wonderful to give. Yes. And, and do from your from what you have. That's to exactly give out. Mm -hmm. right. That's another gift within you, mm -hmm. being able to bake sweet potato pies. Thank and you. someone in the audience might think that sounds really silly, mm -hmm. but God has taught me that cooking is is a ministry. It is. And especially if it's done with love. That's right. And to be able to to share those pies and to be able to uh, do that yeah. for your grandchildren, mm -hmm. actually, that means a lot. Now, when he got back from being with his dad, <laughs> and the first thing he saw was those sweet potato pies, God. tell me about what he, he did. He set himself down to the table. Yes, he did. <laughs> and he began to eat. He was ready because he knew it was be there when he got back. He okay. Go pie because Grandma said she was going to do it. He knew it would be there when he got. So he sat down to that table and began to eat his pie. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Now, I bet he wasn't in the mood to share. So I bet everybody else, it was first come, first serve, <laughs> or get your own. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. It, it is so wonderful. And as I say again, um, for the children to be able mm -hmm. to identify, to see someone mm -hmm. that looks just like me. Yes. We have car cartoon characters. Yes. We have all sorts of, of things uh, that are not so, not good, so good for mm -hmm. children That's right. um, to read and, and to, you know, be subjected that to. That's right. But to be able to write children's books mm -hmm. and to be able to minister, mm -hmm. because it's about a ministry, it's ministry. Um, to that child, mm -hmm. that, that's a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. Now, when you first saw Sweet Potato Pie, I, I got to keep going back to it okay. because, you, number one, you, you've been told, put your pen down, yeah. don't worry about mm -hmm. it, that, that's foolishness. That's right. But to see your name on this book, mm -hmm. tell me about the publishing company and what happened. How did you get it submitted? I, um, I, um, I began to pray and ask God to leave me and guide me to, 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 to go find the right person that would be for the book. And, and I couldn't find anything, but okay. but my baby Ella Manning, Ella, all right, she found uh, uh, um, where the publishing company had a two for one deal. Okay, and she loved me like she do. She don't like oh. to keep anything from me. Oh my. She said, "Ma, I found something you need to look at." So because she also did her her two books also from there. Okay, and that helped me. That that was a bargain. Two for it was a very low price at okay. that time. Two for one deal, so that was good for me. And, mm -hmm. God's always got a ram in the bush. That's right, that's right. And what the enemy meant for our bad, mm -hmm. God will work it out for always, our good. Always, always. And he'll have somebody in place, mm -hmm. like like Sister Ella, yeah. in place. Yes. Birth for that birth, reason. Birth. She mm -hmm. had to be birth. That's right. So that you could write your book. That's right. It's kind of like it Hannah. Is. It is. Under, <laughs> praise God. And I get excited when I think about that. That's wonderful. Because the people couldn't get their prophet. That's right. To Hannah got to her Hannah. baby. That's right. That's right. Amen. And so for her to mm -hmm. be birth just, just for me. you. For me. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now that may sound crazy to it's some wonderful. people. It's true. But God knows mm -hmm. what he's doing. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's right. And to put her in your life and he did. to be able to find the publishing um, people to do your books. Yes. And that's a miracle because it is, it is so hard, Miss Callie, mm -hmm. to get our books yes. out there yes. on the market yes. and favor it and fair. That's right. <laughs> you know, so many. Yeah. Amen. Talk, mm -hmm. talk about how you feel about the favor that mm -hmm. God has given you because this is about you now. Yeah. Go ahead. Go when for I, it. When I think about it and, and not being contradictable, but when I think about uh, how faithful Abraham was to yes. God yes. And, and being so faithful as he, as he was, he got a lot of favor from God. Yes, he, he did. He did not have to worry about anything for the rest of his life. So therefore, he found the favor of God and God called him his friend. So yes. I believe that those who are faithful to God, yes. they, get the, they receive the favor of God. Amen. They, and, and, and for them, I say it's fair. That's you're, what I say. You're preaching now, lady. Yes, it is. For them, I say is. it's fair. Yeah. Because when we're faithful to God and God calls us friend, yes. he said, I will not withhold anything, anything. Mm -hmm. back from you. That's right. Because I call you friend. That's right. And we're blessed. Yes, to be not are. only the friends of God, yes. but to be daughters yes, of Abraham. Yes, yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready now to take a break, but we're going to be right back with Miss Callie. Thank you.
a good cry. Mrs. C and her daughter Ashley went to the grocery store. Ashley was excited because there was something she wanted her mom to buy. She said, Mama, can we buy that new cereal I saw on TV? Mrs. C said, now Ashley, you know we already have cereal at home. Not this time, okay? Then suddenly they heard a loud crying in the store. Over on the same aisle was a little girl crying because she wanted cereal too. Her mom said, honey, I only have enough money for groceries. But I want this cereal, cried the little girl loudly. Well, today we can't buy your favorite cereal. But if you be a good girl and stop crying, we can come back tomorrow and buy you not just one, but two boxes, okay? After hearing her mom's promise, the little girl stopped crying. Now, Miss Kelly, when I read that, mm -hmm. I thought about how many times have I gone into the grocery mm -hmm. store and my children wanted something okay. that I did not have the money okay. to buy. And they would stand there pouting because I couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that's an experience yes. that most of us have, have experienced mm -hmm. with our children. Yes. And then for them to stand there and, and she watched the other little girl yes, cry. she did. Mm -hmm. What do you think was going on in her, in her mind when she heard the little girl crying? Ashley was thinking, is it okay to cry like that? Okay. She wanted to know, um, so she asked her mom, what is a good cry, you know? Uh, she would hear so many different cries in this life. We have mm -hmm. different cries. Yes. Cries when we're hurt. Cries yes. when we're sad. Yes. Cries when we want to be spoiled. That's <laughs> true. We want to have our way. Yes. And she saw a little girl who wanted to be, wanted to have her way about things. And her mom actually gave in to it. Even yes. if she didn't buy it that day, she gave in to that cry because she said, tomorrow we will buy you two boxes. And she wanted to know what a good cry was. Mm -hmm. and, um, and and she explained that no no what a good cry is. is it's okay to cry sometimes, and it yes, is. and it is. Because we are human, we're going to yes. cry. I cry sometimes yes. when I have to when cry. All, yes. but when the, and the Bible says a time of the season. It's a time to cry. Yes, it, it is. It is a time to, re, to refrain myself from crying. And she wanted to know, was it okay to cry for that cereal? And her mom let her know well, that was not good to cry and okay. was not good for her mom to give in to that. And these are actually things that really happens in life. Yes. And these are true stories that I've written. Yes. And um, so she asked her mom, her mom began to explain to her some things that were good to cry about, like it took it down, took it down the line where um, you can lose a loved one. That's and right. We thought about Grandma Malitha, my grandmother name was in that book. Yes. Where she died and the family was hurt. And, and we cried over yes. that, and that was okay. We embraced one another, and there was a little boy that fell down, and and I won't call his name because okay. he's one of my family members too. Okay. And um, he cried, and 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 the dad said, "Get up and be a man." But wow. he was a little boy. Right. He didn't need to, he didn't need to get up and be a man because he was he had to be embraced and say it's going to be right. okay. Children need to be embraced yes. when they're in pain to know that because they're going to get grown and old and yes. and they have to treat their children the way you treat them. That's exactly and that's not right. a good thing. But she, her mom explained to her when it's okay to cry, when it's not okay to cry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. When, when we give in to children mm -hmm. uh, that cry, I believe that we give them a certain amount of control. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I was always taught in child development, you give a child two choices, mm -hmm. but you only give them yeah. the choices you want them That's to make. Right. That's right. That's Amen. right. Amen. That's right. So when we say, what do you want? Mm -hmm. And we get, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And there are certain times when we get to celebrate mm -hmm. that child. Mm -hmm. But when when you don't have the means, means. to compensate mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this child is always used to getting yeah, what, what they, they want, want they will learn quickly yeah. to manipulate yes now there may be an incident where i'd have in the, in the center that a child wants to sit in a, stand in the chair mm -hmm. and i'll say you may sit in the chair mm -hmm. or you may stand mm -hmm. well those are the only two, only choices. two choices stand on the floor That's you right. may sit in the chair mm -hmm. or stand on your two feet mm -hmm. let me iterate that yes. And uh, because that's what I want him to do, mm -hmm. or my child's getting ready for school. Yes. I'm going to take two outfits out, but they're the outfits I want them yeah, to wear. Yes. You may wear this blue one, mm -hmm. or you may wear this red yes. one. So it's okay to give choices because then a child 
learns to make choices. Mm -hmm. But then we have to teach children. You you know, it's, you can't always have your that's way. That's right, that's right. And if you have to cry it out, mm -hmm. it's okay mm -hmm. to cry sometimes. Mm -hmm. Now that part about that daddy that says, stand up and be a man. Mm -hmm. In this society, mm -hmm. we push children to grow up so quickly. Mm -hmm. We forget that they need that that's nurturing. That's right. That's right. Because he was a child. That's right. He needed to be told. Yes, he did. It's gonna be okay. That's right. You fell down. You got hurt. Yes. That I'm here. Yes. And that should be the message mm -hmm. uh, that's conveyed. Yes. To the children, rather, suck it up, mm -mm. be a man. Mm -mm. And I find that even in child care, we have daddies that don't want their sons participating in certain things because mm -hmm. they think it makes them weak. Mm -mm. It doesn't make them mm -mm. weak. It makes them strong. It makes them strong. Mm -hmm. I praise God for that, mm -hmm. uh, Sister Kelly, and, and for you writing um, the, the book and letting them know it's okay to cry at it's funerals. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, so, it's okay. You can cry at weddings, mm -hmm. too. Yes. You know. Yes. Um, it's okay to cry when you're hurt, mm -hmm. you know. It, it's, it's really okay. People think of tears as a sign of weakness. Mm -mm. No. No. But sometimes we have to go in. That's right. That secret place. That's right. And cry it out. That's right. And the Bible says, when the righteous mm -hmm, cry, mm -hmm. the Lord yes. will raise up a prophet. Yes, he will. Just for, just that, for person. that person. And he bottle so, out tears. Yes. He bottle out tears in heaven. He does. Mm -hmm. He does. So I, I, I bless the Lord for you writing the book, and it says, Mommy's here for you yes. to let them know it's okay. It's okay. Don't cry because you can't have your way. That's right. If you gotta cry, cry. maybe this sounds crazy, mm -hmm. but let it be the worth something. That's right. That's right. Don't waste a good cry Amen. if you gotta cry. <laughs> let it be for worth. For worth. That's right. You know. That's right. Amen. Well, we're gonna take a break and we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk with Miss Miss Callie some more. I've really enjoyed you, Miss Callie. Thank you, I enjoyed you too. We'll be right back. Hello, my name is Thomas Lynch, and you're watching Insight TV. We're right back with Miss Callie. Now, Miss Callie, mm -hmm. I hear that you are a phenomenal singer mm -hmm. and your family sing. Which would you rather do, write books or sing? Both. both. I have a love for both. I love to, I love to sing, and I write my own music. It's I Wonderful. write my songs. I've been writing songs since I, since ninth grade, and um, I, my family, and I, we are very musical inclined. All of my children know how to do instrument, oh. and they all can sing. And uh, but I love to write. I love to, to express write. myself. I can think, look at you today, and and just sit here now. I can sing a song to you Amen. with that's never been written. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And one day we're gonna have you back. Okay. To sing those songs, okay. you and your family. Mm -hmm. Now. What is the goal for these books that you've written? Um, one day I want to have my own printing press. Wonderful. To, uh, not just for these, but those manuscripts I have waiting. And um, I want the people to, to feel what I'm saying yes. and to be encouraged by what I'm saying. Well, all right. A hundred years from now, what do you want the public to remember about you? That she cared. That she cared. she cared, yes. Mm -hmm. That's it in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. And to know that there is someone that cares, remember a lot. Mm -hmm. Let us remember the books, A Good Cry and Sweet Potato Pie. Mm -hmm. How can they get your books, Miss Kelly? Um, uh, just type my name, go Google my name, Callie, Callie Carol Rogers Jones, and it will pop up from Author House Publishing, or I have books at my house. You can call me, and, and my number is 252-833-4569. That's my house number, my home number. Now make sure that you have that. Go online and check Miss Callie out. I believe that you'll really enjoy 
some sound, wholesome, spiritual Christian books. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Till the next time, we'll be looking forward to seeing you on Insight Gospel. See you there.